welcome to the prayer channel. Today we are praying against a very serious spirit that may be in operation in our lives or may be in operation around us. We are praying against the spirit of jealousy, the spirit of jealousy that causes so much trouble and so much destruction. We're reading James 3, 14 to 16 and it says, but if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from heaven, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder and every evil practice. Lord, we ask today that you would come in. You would come in. Lord, we can't and we refuse to carry over any spirits of jealousy that may be on us, that we may be operating through. Lord, we reject and we refuse the spirit of jealousy. Lord, it doesn't even matter where or how it came upon us. It doesn't matter how long it's been on us. Lord, today we say no to jealousy. We say it's enough. Lord, we say we are pinning all feelings of jealousy and inadequacy to your cross. Because as you say here, Lord, everywhere you find jealousy and you find envy and selfish ambition, you only find disorder and every evil practice. Oh Lord, forgive us of our sins. Forgive us, Lord, where we have felt jealous. Lord, where we have wanted what other people have wanted. Lord, as you say in the Ten Commandments, Lord, we mustn't covet. We mustn't want what others have. Instead, we are to look and enjoy what we have. Lord, we are being open today before you. Lord, we are being transparent. Lord, we are lifting up every wicked thought, every wicked endeavor, every wicked emotion that we've had in operation, Lord. And we're saying, Lord, take it away. It says in Proverbs 14, 30, a heart at peace gives life to the body, but envy rots the bones. Jealousy goes so deep. Jealousy travels to such a deep place in our bodies, Lord, and we don't want it to stay there. We don't want our bones rotted, Lord, by looking at what others have, looking and desiring to have what they have instead of being grateful and considering what we have. Yes, there are many things, Lord, that we may dream about, that we may hope for, that we may have visions even of having, but Lord, we want everything to be done in your will and in your way. So today we surrender. We surrender our lives to you and we say, yes, Lord, would you do it in your own way? Would you do it in your own way? And Lord, would we have the patience to endure? Would we have the patience and the godliness to enjoy the moments that we have now, even though we may feel that there is lack? Lord, you said in 1 Corinthians 3.3, 3, you are still worldly, for since there is jealousy and quarreling among you, are you not worldly? Are you not acting like mere humans? Where we are worldly, Lord, where we have been operating in the world, where our minds have been taken to places they shouldn't, where the culture of the day has embroiled us and taken us over, Lord, we repent today and we say, Lord, would you wash us clean? Would you forgive us? our sins, Lord, where we've been chasing what the world puts up as the blueprint for success or as the way that we should look or as what we should have. Lord, today we say no. Lord, we reject, we rebuke, we tear down, we cast off every jealousy that we have felt. Lord, we don't want to just chase things, chase the wind, chase the world. Lord, why would we chase the world when we have you? our eternal Father in heaven. It doesn't even make sense. Ecclesiastes 4.4 4 says, And I saw that all toil and all achievements spring from one person's envy of another. This too is meaningless, a chasing after the wind. Oh Lord, Lord forgive us today. Lord, where we've chased after the wind, where we've chased after the achievement of someone else, when we have to realize that you have created us uniquely, specifically, for our own purpose. Help us to see our purpose today. Help us to enjoy what you've given us. Help us to remember that we are different to everyone else around us and you've called us for our own work. Galatians 6, 4 says, pay careful attention to your own work for then you will get the satisfaction of a job well done and you won't need to compare yourself to anyone else. I'll read that again. Pay careful attention to your own work, 
So then you will get the satisfaction of a job well done and you won't need to compare yourself to anyone else. Lord, we desire not to compare ourselves to anyone else. Lord, we want to look at our own work. Lord, where our eyes have been flitting to and fro, fixated on what others are doing, maybe even brought about by social media. Lord, we choose to realign our eyes with you today. Lord, help us to focus on our own work. Help us to have divine insights of how we're supposed to operate and of what we're supposed to do. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we believe in you. Lord, we want you. Lord, we want to live lives that honour you, that bless you. Lord, as you remind us, Lord, in Galatians 5, 22 to 23, we are to be seeking after the fruit of the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit. Help us to ingest love today, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Lord, would you download on us today? Would you download these fruit of the Spirit into our spirit? Would we walk in love? Would we not envy? Would we walk in peace? Would we not envy? Lord, would we walk in kindness? Would we not envy? Lord, would we walk in goodness? Would we not envy? Lord, would we walk in self-control? And would we choose not to envy? Lord, help us to see who we are today. Help us to understand that we are your precious children, each of us created by you, your workmanship created for good works. In 1 Peter, you remind us, Lord, in 2.9, 1 Peter 2.9, you said, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Lord, we are called out, called out once. And Lord, we choose to remember who we are today. Thank you that we are a chosen people. Thank you, Lord, that you love us. Lord, that we're your special possession, each of us in our own way. Lord, where jealousy has been in operation, we thank you, Lord, that it is falling away now. We thank you, Lord, that we are stepping over the precipice into the new year, believing and knowing that you've washed us of all jealousy, washed it off us, washed it off us. You've washed us clean today. Lord, we are free, we are free. We have submitted ourselves to you, Lord, and we've resisted the devil. And Lord, you said when we resist him, he flees. Lord, we choose to reprogram our minds to the scriptures that we've just read. And Lord, where jealousy has been a recurring problem, we thank you that we're gonna just pray daily. We're gonna pray daily these scriptures and remind ourselves of who we are in you. We thank you, Lord, that we are no longer in bondage. We are no longer held down by a burdensome yoke. Instead, Lord God, we are free in you. We are free to declare the goodness and the glory, to remember that we are chosen to be filled with the fruit of the spirit that we read about earlier. Lord, fill us, fill us, fill us. We thank you for this day and we thank you that jealousy has no hold over us. In Jesus' name we've prayed, amen.